I learned a pretty good truth today. It was uh, that we ought to worship and adore the Lord. Claiming his character as mine. That's an interesting one. <clears throat> so our position first and foremost, because of of just how low we are in the totem pole, uh, positionally speaking, no, probably more practically speaking, even think of the moment of salvation. Um, our journey, you know, daily or seasonally or moment by moment should be uh, should kick off really with worship and adoration towards God <clears throat> and then when we come to a, a full understanding of, of really what it means to be in Christ and that comes only by the Word of God hearing it understanding it what we then do is we, we appropriate it we claim these promises and the one promise is that we're in Christ and as as you know he was brought through suffering unto glory so we suffer this world unto glory and that's the end direction but as we're in Christ his character is rightly ours and uh, and it's it's not arrogance or pride to say that why because we started that claim look Look, I am perfect, as Christ is perfect. Well, you arrogant, blah, 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 no. Look how I started this journey, and even that statement with worship and adoration towards him. I am perfect in Christ only because it's Christ that establishes me. It's Christ that makes me perfect through suffering under glory. We need to claim his character, even as we claim his promises, as ours. Knowing that one simple truth, that his perfection works in me. And this is what everyone, I believe, in the world is trying to eventually achieve, is some sort of godhood without worship and adoration towards the living God that gives to them freely sonship it's God that cleanses our DNA it's God that makes us whole again it's God that makes us perfect and established but if you don't start with worship and adoration toward him then yeah it definitely is a point of pride and this is this is the Tower of Babel this is the statements of Satan in mankind as he attacks the seed. I will, I will, I will, I will be like the Most High. You know what? As a Christian, I will be like the Most High. But it's not because I will. It's because He will make me like the Most High. Because His perfection works in me both to will and to do of his good pleasure and in that position of constant worship and adoration towards him appropriating his promises and claiming his character as mine knowing that his perfection works in me <clears throat> if I abide there in that position every day every moment by faith that faith fills up and grows because we can grow that muscle of faith that we have. I believe God gives everybody a measure of faith and the disciples, without being rebuked, also ask, Lord, give us faith. Help us to believe. Teach us to pray. Ye have not because ye ask not. No man's ever asked for the Spirit and not have it given to him by the Father. Father doesn't cast you a stone when you ask for bread, nor does he give you checklists and works and methods when you ask for, for faith and understanding. 
Abide there in that faith, have it be filled up, and yet that is what becomes our full assurance. Because faithfulness just becomes us. That's just a part of who we are the more we grow in it. So I think that's that's ultimately the most important thing that a that a Christian can do is is to get in the position where great claims of godliness and indeed great fruits of 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 God in us coming out will never be from points of pride or self-worth or self-righteousness. The Christian life needs to become one doxology of adoring love towards Him. And it needs to be one doxology of adoring love and worship toward only Him that is worthy to receive it. And ultimately, when we're in that position of constant worship and praise, we're humble. And the humble are lifted up. And exalted in due time according to the promise of his word and it's amazing when you when you realize that that um, that that couldn't be further from the methods of these days in practice why because <clears throat> here's here's two two days of the week one day I get up and I've got I've got a reading list. I have three chapters I'm going to read. I sit down, I read those chapters, and then I'm going to pray this prayer. Not in the exact words, but I just have a framework that I like to use. Let's say the Lord's Prayer, as it's commonly called. I'm going to pray through that Lord's Prayer. Right? <clears throat> and then I'm going to and then I'm going to uh, pray for a certain item that somebody needs. A friend of mine that I know needs something. And then, uh, and then I'm going to, um, and I have this list of things that I have to do. And I may get on that list and do it a couple times. And, and if you remember, I, I tried this with, uh, with the church and I think a few of them did. And then eventually it was just me and eventually it just, fizzled out and, and we stopped because it was a method okay but if I ditch the method and then just seek a man and instead of waking up rolling over and looking at a checklist I wake up I roll over I look at Jesus and I think praise him praise him Jesus my blessed Redeemer Sing, O oh, earth, his wonderful love, proclaim. And then I start to meditate upon proclaiming his love towards the earth and what that would, what that would mean. And then uh, I've got that tune in my head as, as I go down downstairs to prepare. And I think, oh, there's a psalm that says praise him, praise him. I'm going to go read that psalm. And then I'm in the word. And then, and then that psalm becomes my prayer and meditation for that morning. And then... And then, and then you, you can see how beginning with praise, ultimately the same things were done, but they were done led in the Spirit. And they were done organically, and they were done in a way that was real, and I believe a way that's fruitful and lasting. And so that's, that's, just, that's just something this morning that, that, that came to mind. May the Christian life be one doxology of adoring love to Him that is worthy of to receive it we ought worship and adore the Lord claiming his character as mine knowing his perfection works in me and there abide until faith is full with full assurance it's good stuff there anyways brother hope you have a wonderful day God bless <clears throat>